Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in. As y'all saw the title, we're going to teach y'all how to travel more, or at least how we did it. Yep, how we able to um, travel multiple times a year without getting in debt. Hello. Because <laughs> that's, yeah. Say yeah. that. Hey, Fats and Tree. What's up, Fats and Tree? Say, want to welcome everybody into the chat as you're coming in. Indeed. And so while we're waiting, everybody coming in, we thought this would be a good subject for the night because we know a lot of people in, in the fam wants to be able to travel more. Absolutely. So we just want to pull the covers back to show you guys how we have attempted, well, not attempted, have able successfully to successfully it. pull that off over the last two years. Uh, what's what's going on? Travel with uh, Gail. Yeah, what's up? What's up, fam? Uh, what's up? Uh, oops, Ashley. How what's are up, you? Ashley? How you doing? Look, I pulled a Stanley on y'all tonight. Yeah, <laughs> my iPad is dead. <laughs> so usually I read the comments from my iPad. So now I'm looking at it on my iPhone. All right. So before, hey, Ms. Portia. Hey, what's Cassandra. up, Miss Portia? What's up? Uh, she loves my swag. What's up, Samuel? What's up, Marky? Letitia, Amanda. What's up? So I How made a laugh. All right. Indeed, you did. <laughs> So um, to kick this thing off, uh, so off. when you get in the door, first of all, let's put in the chat, him and you guys desire to travel more. Mm -hmm. Hey, T, go Wednesday, Rhonda and Michelle. What's up? What's up? Hey, EJ. Thank you, Devontae. What's up, Nicole? What up, EJ? Hey, Joe. All right, right out the gate. Oh, wow. Come on now. All right, let me see. No, that's somebody. Uh, what's up? What's up, Trey? Thank you for being a member for three, three months. months. We appreciate it. Say, hey, Lynette hey. Stanley, I love all your content. Thank you. Uh, you guys hey, are in, have an awesome vibe. We tried. <laughs> we we tried. What's up, young side? I literally watched all y'all videos. Been watching them for three days. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. You must be ready to plan a cruise or get ready to go on one. Yes. Hey, see y'all say Teresa, hey, Portia. What's hey, up? What's Patricia. up? Hey, Tracy. I said Olima Pressful. I guess I said that right. All right. So I was still waiting in the comments for y'all who um desires to be able sure. to to yeah, travel sure. more. And then also the Wonderful. next following question in that is how many times um do you guys actually travel a year? Do you do yeah. once? Do you do twice? What's up? What's up? What's up, Kendra? Kate, Kate, Kate Amia. I hope that's said that right. All right. Hey, so, Tra so Trey said, me, I want to travel more. Samuel said, I love to travel. I travel all the time. I take at least one cruise a year and a land travel uh, every couple of months. Oh, love it. Every love it. That's great. So T, uh, T also said, me, those definitely. What's up, Tracy? Hey. All right. August 17th on the breeze. What's that's up, Regina? Day before my birthday. Yeah. Hey, what's, Carol. What's up, Duke? Stanley. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Alicia? All right, so while the comments are still coming in, we're going to go ahead and, and get into it. So I, I guess we can give you guys a, a backstory on how we even got to the point of wanting to travel more. Sure. So prior to 2018, we had the desire that we wanted to travel, but just like a lot of young people, we did not have the money. Right. But let me, but let me preface and say that we had the money but was, we made a whole lot of bad financial turns. Right. So we accrued a whole bunch of debt. So by the time we got to the point where we really wanted to travel, yeah. we didn't have that much <laughs> cash flow left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what we Stretched started in. <laughs> right. So what we started doing was we uh started doing the timeshare presentations, the 90 minute tours that usually turn into <laughs> like four or five hour tours. Your day. Yeah. And then after the tours, they they sit there and harass you about um, getting the timeshare. And we used to do that uh, because uh, we didn't have the money to travel. And mm -hmm. then also we did it to get the free gifts. Hello. So sometimes they give you $100 or $200 gift cards. <laughs> or, or, or give you a, a voucher to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we jumped on that bandwagon and we did that for, for years. For a couple of years. And for they make years. you feel this big when you finish. Yes. And that kind of led us into trying to figure out how to not be stressed so thin. Because at the end of all of that, who wants to feel 
this big. Right. Like you go on a vacation, you on a high, and then for someone to basically like you, you can't afford this, and da 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 da. You know, they they talk mad cash money to you in those presentations because yeah, they, they want the sale. Yeah. So that led us to want to just get our skit together and try to figure out how we can do this thing without that. Right. <laughs> so in so prior to 2018, it was um 2017. We was talking to our friends and we was like, hey, let's go to Jamaica. So literally, yeah. That's so that was happened. like Jamaica was a long shot for us. Yes. We we didn't have the money for that, but we said, you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna start saving money and start making payments towards mm -hmm. taking our first Jamaica trip. Yep. And we took our trip to Jamaica in 2018 and had the best time of our life. We still talking about it till this yes. day. How yes. much great time we had over. I'm not sure if you guys actually saw the videos they still on the channel. That's the videos that primarily put our channel on the map when it yes. came to to travel because that's not even a cruise. That's travel. And that was one of the videos that kind of just exploded on yes. our channel is when we went to Jamaica. And while why we were in Jamaica, it solidified our like this yes. already burning passion that we had for travel. Once we did it like that, Oh, we were like, I don't care what we have to do. We're going to have to figure out a way to not be stretched so thin because it wasn't that we didn't make the money. We made the money. Yeah. But it was like bad financial decisions and they all came from a good place. Right. Now, we didn't have like shopping addictions and, you know, throwing money this place and that place. We legit had so much responsibility that we were just stretching ourselves thin. Now, then we did have what our passion. Well, no, what what our outlet was, we ate out because that was the only thing that we could kind of do to make us feel better about not being able to live life the way we wanted to. So we ate right. out a lot, right? And once we realized that that part of it was the corporate. Oh yeah, we gotta get on this. We gotta we gotta figure it out. <laughs> right. So when we came back from Jamaica, we sat down and we was like, we need to pay off this debt mm -hmm. because we realized that the amount of money that we were sending in car payments, loan payments, mm -hmm. credit card payments, yeah, like my wife said, eating out, um, dues. helping, <laughs> yeah, helping people, yeah, was taking we call them dudes, yeah. <laughs> was taking a great portion of our income. And I started doing the math on it. And I was like, baby, we we putting out X amount of money and this equates to this amount of money every year. Uh, this could be like four, five, six different trips that we could be able to take if we didn't have that debt over our head. Uh, so the first thing we thought about was, I thought about first thing we did was we needed to lower our expenses. Yep. Our expenses was too high. And the next thing that we did, and this is the, the secret that's not a secret, but it's a secret because a lot of people don't do it, yeah. is we opened up a vacation savings account. So what we started doing was we had our debt over here and we had our vacation savings over here. So out of our paychecks, a little bit that we had left, we started paying down on our debt and we started and. adding money to our vacation savings. Not and now, or. Right. And. Now, most of the time, people will be like, well, I, I, don't, I, I don't have the money to be able to put in savings because I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. So, so we. we did not start with a particular number or we did not start with a particular percentage. We made a commitment that every time we got a paycheck or got money from anywhere that we would put it first on out in our vacation savings and we would pay down our debt. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all, have any of y'all heard of the law of attraction? Now, at first, I thought it was woo woo ha ha. I did too. Yeah, so, but the thing about the law of attraction that why it did not work for us in the beginning, because we said a whole bunch of affirmations, but did not feel the affirmations. So years later, we learned that you don't just say an affirmation, you have to feel as if it has already happened. So when we was going through that process, we was visualizing and feeling ourselves traveling the world mm -hmm. full time. Uh, so we didn't know it was going to happen this fast. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we started that route. And as we continue to go, 
God started working miracles where opportunities would come for us to be able to make more money. Yeah. Opportunities for, for people was blessing us. Mm -hmm. It was just so many things that was happening, but it did not start happening so until we, we until we started doing something. You had to get intentional about right. it. Right. Like you just couldn't say, Oh, I would want to. Oh, it'd be nice if I had to. Just like us, it's the Christmas season for a whole lot of y'all, right? Right. Them kids want something. Guess what's gonna happen? Y'all gonna make it happen. The right. same, the same intention that you have. With making things happen for other people, put that into yourself. Put that yes. into your desires. It might not even be right. trips. It could be listen. I'm gonna I'm gonna close on my house this year. I'm right. gonna do this. Be intentional about it because once you get intentional about it, oh yeah, everything. It's like a snowball effect. You know how back in the day when you used to look at cartoons and the snowball started like this, and as it went down the hill, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. Is that's the way it happened? Because one day we looked in our um save it, um vacation savings account. And we were like, when did this happen? Right. Like literally, when did this happen? <laughs> yeah, and 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 it, it almost happened like so fast, it's almost it was like magic. So, like, like the scripture said for the for those Bible believing, faith without works is dead. Yeah. So we sit around and we'll say, I want to travel more, but you never ever do anything about it. So you always have to to start moving towards the very thing that you want. And that thing will start moving towards you. And let me tell you this. You might not believe it, but this is the thing. It's not about how much money you make. It's not. So a lot of people, I feel like I got to make more money to be able to travel more. Mm -mm. It's not about how much you make. It's about how much you keep that you make. Mm -hmm. So as we started going on, so the first, uh, first few years was really tough. Uh, because yeah. like you said, we really didn't have it. So it was, it was being intentional about putting that money in the savings right. and paying off that debt. But we was like, wait a minute. So it's going to take us about five years to pay off this debt. Do we want to put our life on oh, hold and years? just paying off debt and putting money in vacation savings to travel full time while we put our life on hold? So I had to revamp the system. So I came up with a three tier system where anytime that we got money, money went to debt, money went to vacation savings and money went for us to spend now. right now. So whether that's was going out to eat, going, staying at a, at a hotel mm -hmm. or staying at a, a cheap, a cheap resort. So that way it gave us, uh, the momentum that we needed to be able to continue and our mental fix, right? Because yeah. if we didn't travel or did something mentally, we were in a funk, right? Because it is nothing worse than feeling like you work, 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 do right. so good in the world, be there for everybody else, and then when it's your turn, you just can't do it, right? That is a horrible feeling, and that was a feeling that we had for many, many years of seeing everything that we did, it just seems like good works never caught up to us. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> so in the chat, how many of y'all have been there before? You just feel like you've been doing and doing and doing and you just can't seem to catch up. Put a one right. in the chat. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and I see that it's 100, 212 of oh, you Jesus, guys in the house. Here. <laughs> if, you, if you are getting any value out of this live, please go ahead and smash that like button. So we've already talked about two principles. So the first principle was open was paying down debt, mm -hmm. starting vacation savings. So some of you might not be in debt, but some of you don't have a vacation savings. Yeah. So if you're not in debt, your first step is to open you up a vacation savings and start putting money in there. And we ain't talking the, about big money. We're talking about, about yeah. okay, slide 20. Yeah, slide or whatever 10. you got. A dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Yeah. So, because it's, it's not... It's going to accumulate quickly. Right, because it's, it's, it's not about the amount. It's about building the yeah. habit. And in the beginning, it's always hard to get something started than once it's, once it gets going, which is called inertia. It's always harder to get something going. But once you get momentum, oh, my God, it changes your life. So mm -hmm. we got the vacation savings, paying down debt. The second principle was, wait a minute, our life is on hold. We can't pay off debt and put vacation savings yeah. and not live anymore. So we decided to break it up in three, third, third, and the third. Now, the third principle we did, and this is what set everything on fire. What's that, baby? Is that any money that we made outside of our nine to five, which was our side 
hustle. Right. <laughs> we took that money and we the first we divided it down the middle. So we did a 50-50. Yes. So we made five hundred dollars. We would take two fifty, pay off the debt, take yeah. two fifty and put it in vacation savings account. So we did that for about a few months. Then after that, still again, like, wait a minute, baby, we, our life is still on oh, hold. Wow. So then in the side hustle, I did the same thing. I did a third, third, and the third, like we did in the second principle. And so any extra money that we made, a third of it went to, uh, to vacation savings, a third went to debt, and a third went for us to live now. Mm -hmm. So we were able to still pay off debt, put start our vacation savings, so we could travel full time and we had a pretty decent life while we wasn't traveling or we had a little bit of money to be able to Do travel something. at least once a year. And the thing that we did for those that's in the DMV, we went to Williamsburg like no tomorrow. <laughs> Williamsburg and Virginia Beach. Williamsburg yes. and Virginia Beach. And most of the time on off season because you could get a resort for, for a few days for like 100 or 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. So it was and nice like, ones. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. It was very, very cheap but if uh in in the chat so we're gonna get into the chat hey y'all hey 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 Portia. Portia became a gold supporter thank you so much thank you thank you for that fam i see a lot of y'all say y'all would love to travel more somebody said they about they would love to go on a celebration with us as you should yeah do that um trey said they started cruising once a year at least you have mm -hmm. to and you have to start at something right um so we also road trips within our state that's what we want to get into too. Right. Say. So, all right. Hey, so, State Cruiser. So, uh, to continue, don't pay these chairs no mind. They need WD forty, <laughs> and they just started acting up today. <laughs> all right. So, uh, to continue on the journey, um, from that plan, we were at our goal three years in. So we decided to say five years. Right. And let me let me tell you this. It does take time. It's, mm -hmm. it's not an overnight process, not whether you're in debt or you're not in debt. If you desire to want to travel more, it's going to take some time to build mm -hmm. up that vacation savings. Yep. So one thing about life, a lot of us know what we don't want, but we don't know what, what we, we want. want. So you just yeah. can't say that I just want to travel more. How often do you want to travel more? So for us, we decided to say we wanted to travel four times a year. Yes. So that would be every quarter of the year that we, we wanted something. to be able to travel. So after that, like the Bible said, you got to before you go into the city, you got to count the cost. So at that time, we started counting the cost that basically the average price of a cruise is most likely twenty five hundred dollars or vacation because we yeah, vacation, even in yeah. the cruise space. right yeah for vacation <laughs> so we talking ten thousand dollars a year to be able to travel and um you know four times a year and somebody be like ten thousand dollars that's 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 a lot of money uh it's not a lot of money it's when not. you start breaking it down into payments mm -hmm. so ten thousand dollars a year is eight hundred and thirty three dollars a month and a lot of us are paying that now in car payments, Something loan else. payments, uh, Netflix, Hulu, cable bill, mm -hmm. you name it. We already paying that, but it's like out of mind, out of sight. Um, so the first thing you need to do, well, one of the things you need to do is look into your finances to see anything that you're paying for right now that no longer add any value to your life. That's it. So in other words, this thing does not bring me joy anymore. And for us was car payments. Because we switch cars every two years. <laughs> right. And you we get we'll get tired of cars. And I think now, like the average car payment is they said it's like four hundred and fifty dollars. No, seven. So oh seven? Woo! Yeah. La. La. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I see um um Javita said, uh, yes, my goal is something um new each quarter. Yeah. Yes. So, yes, y'all, that starts with a vacation savings account mm -hmm. and you have to be committed to every time you get money you're funding it and you're accounting the cost of how much you need each year to be able to pay for those four trips those six trips now this is what this yielded us so we planned on only doing four trips so in <laughs> 2022 we did how many cruises? How many trips we did? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So we did 
one, two, three, four. So we did four cruises in 2024. And we and did, did three resorts. And did three resorts. We technically did more resorts, but we did those with our moms. Right. So we're not gonna count those. But we went on like a, like two, three more right. resort vacations with them. Right. And so you see, we have our goal was four, and we did six that year. And then this year, how many did we do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. But seven. Eight is coming. Yes. And next week. So you see, our goal was four times a year, and we've doubled that from just having a vacation savings. So some people might be like, well, you guys are maybe to travel more, maybe because because Lynette is a travel agent. Nah, we had we had that in place. That, that was that actually came into play while we was working on the goal. So one of the things about a law of attraction that once you start moving towards you want life starts to shape itself so that it helps you reach that goal so you will meet the right people and the right circumstances to help you bring about that thing. True that. And I'm telling you guys, a vacation savings have changed it all for us. Mm -hmm. So uh, starting now or 2024, if you want to travel more, uh, start that vacation savings. And then also uh, we wanted to bring up, because we know a lot of people use Uplift. <laughs> um, the dangerous thing about losing uplift is that most people after the cruise is over, the gratification is, <laughs> is gone, and now you're still paying on it. So by doing that vacation savings, you can eliminate that. Mm -hmm. And so what we do now, we still contribute to our vacation savings every it was this is five years later. Yeah. Every every time we get money, we still contribute to it, whether we're taking a trip or not. Uh yeah. at least. At least $833 a month goes towards our traveling. Now, you see, he had it down to the yeah, so <laughs> you gotta know, you gotta know what you want, and you gotta know the numbers. But it took us up until three years in to get to that point to mm -hmm. be able to do that because to do the four trips a year, it's about 10 grand. Yeah, now God done, 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 done some other things and blessed us where we have had some trips that was comped for us, but. We still needed money to go and still needed money to spend while we let was me, there. Let, let me stop you. Yeah, right, right there. Down. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Don't think that comp trips are free trips. No, nah, they're not. They so not when people be free. like, oh, you know, you are able, able to do things because of, you know, you're a travel agent, da, 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 da. Even, and I will, I'm going to break down which trips were actually comped and why they were comped because I don't want y'all to get the idea that you could become a travel agent and get free trips. That does not happen. These are businesses that are in the business of making money. If they are comping me for something, I've brought them a lot of money. Huh? Right. But even when they are comping something, they're not comping pre-cruise hotels. They're not comping Ubers and Lyfts. They're not comping meals that we have to pay. They're not comping these high flights that we have to pay for. <clears throat> They're not comping these goddamn outfits that we got to buy to be, to look like something while we're recording. All of it, it still costs. And most of the time, y'all heard me say, comp trips are the most expensive ones. Yes, they are. Because they're the ones you really don't have a lot of control over when you go. And a lot of comp trips are coming at you like 60 to 90 days before it's time to go, which right. means that you are booking right where everything is at the peak of being exp of the price um gouge. So don't think that. So that's what I wanted to, to drive home right there. Yes, yes. Hey, T-Rock. Hey, honey. What's up, fam? Thank you for the $2 super chat. Say, amen, fam. Can't wait to travel with y'all. Indeed, we cannot wait to travel with you. Wait. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm so glad that you put this in here. Really Life 804 said you got you. Y'all must have hella PTO, too. Um, uh, The PTO that we uh, that we have because we is on we didn't talk. Own. We didn't talk about this, Um, that through this journey, we became full time entrepreneurs in 2021. Yeah. But even uh, before then, even for, yeah, we were in our corporations for over 20 years. Right. So, yeah, we had a lot of 
PTO. Right. <laughs> Prepare the others because I'm not going to be here. So yeah, <laughs> <Right>. we did. <laughs> <laughs> but however, that's that's not a roadblock because mm-hmm. we have we have plenty of people that's in our circle that still have nine to fives and they take just as many trips as we do. Let me tell and you we, how we and, used to do it. Yeah. I always planned our trips to leave on a usually on a Thursday. So it would go over the weekend, but I would always try to see if I can book my trips when there was a Monday holiday. So Thursday and Friday were usually the only days that were true PTO days. Right. Or if I wanted to take off that Tuesday, then that was only three PTO days used. So you got to be really strategic of how you do it. Like traveling over the holidays where they give you that Friday or that Monday. Right. Use that to your advantage. Yep. All right. I see we have another super uh, chat from Marky Mark. What's up, Marky Mark? Uh, thank you for the four ninety nine dollars super chat. Y'all made my first cruise smooth sailing. I can't wait to go oh, on a trip with y'all. That. Likewise, I usually travel every three months. So now we put we we put uh, we don't put out there how we do it. And I'm telling you, as simple as we said it, it is really that simple. It just takes time to actually make that thing happen. But if you stay committed to it, your life will change if that's what you really mm-hmm. want to do. So basically, we said it all to say is that you have to make traveling a priority. And anything in your life that's not a priority, you have to cut it. Yeah. You have and to that cut it. that includes people sometimes. Right. You have to cut it. a lot of our problem was people and dues. And I'll just <laughs> say dues because it was things that... And here's the thing. Once you look at... Because we had this conversation with a family member about a couple of weeks ago. When they looked at how much money they had invested, we'll say invested, right. into a person for the year, and that person hasn't done shit. Yeah. But be in the same position that they were in when you started helping them at the beginning of the year, you start to realize that I can't keep trying to save people right. while not saving myself. Right. All right. Let's see. I'm going back in here. Uh, hey, Sean. Tanya. What's I up, did, Tanya? Tanya, I did see that Tokyo T video. I got to give you the real recipe. That won't eat. That won't eat. It looked pretty, though. <laughs> but when I saw um, it, I said, that ain't it. <laughs> yeah, Carnival's is way s- is sweet. Yeah, Carnival's, um, yeah, the Tokyo tea is really good. Yeah, they got a whole lot, a whole lot of in it. All right, I want to make sure. So I think they made it up. All right. So I'm going to pick up right here. What you got? All right, so Carol said, I fell into the time <laughs> tears trap. I've been trying to get rid of it oh, for two years. One. You bought it, yeah. Oh. We we bought one one year, and before we got back home, we canceled it because we went home, we went back to the resort, and we started I reading I got in a Facebook group. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just asking some of the owners. I was like, I just signed up. What are your thoughts on it? And they legit told me, you can get out now. Get out out they was like we making the best out of it because we have to right they were like you have an opportunity to get out they say every year we're not able to even take the um the trips that we want because we can't get the dates that we want right they were like no this ain't it you you your money is better spent doing it yourself right all right so larry said i travel at least twice a year got a travel account set up yes indeed it works it works Ah. That great idea of vacation savings. Yeah, yeah, great. yeah. yeah. And you know what's crazy? Like back in the day, like way back in the day, like my family ain't had no vacation savings. But you used to hear of people's family like, oh, I have a vacation savings or a Christmas savings. Yeah. And you'd be like, that's so that's so above <laughs> me. <laughs> like, mm, that, that, that's not in my pay grade. It really is. It really is. All right, Teresa said, exactly. I do the same thing. What's up, LK? Uh, family travel. Hey, what's hey. up, fam? Uh, said hello. Thank you so much for your first time, um, travelers. Do's and don'ts video had a blast on Count of Venetia this All past right. October. Your advice is invaluable. Thank you so much. That's Thank why you so we much. Do it. Say you make one step, he'll, he'll take two. two. Yes, indeed. Yes, I agree. Uh, Monica said Mon- manifestation is real. Yes, it is. It is. It is. All right. What's up, Zaire? Hey, Zaire. And, and Jacita, what's going on, fam? So, man, you guys are teaching life. This is my passion. I'm crushing on your uh, mentality right now. Yes. Yes. And it didn't happen overnight. Right. It 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 takes time. But if you be committed to it, it'll it'll happen for you. Mm -hmm. It's about how much you keep. Yes, indeed, Tiffany Dre. Yep. 
Right. Because we got we got millionaires out there that are still broke because Absolutely. because they've raised their they've raised their lifestyle right up, with up to their income. And so you can be strapped making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. How do we know that? Because we were strapped making, making a whole a lot, lot of money. money. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What you got? Say, uh, my- Jay Wilson say, hub, the, uh, my hubby and I travel uh, minimal one, one time, time a year. year. Yep. Okay. Samuel says, I started traveling more after I lost my wife to COVID. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. that. Oh, man. So I realized life is too, too short not to live. Me and her traveled a lot. You can always get money back, but you can't get time. I, I am so bad. Uh, we ain't even we ain't even talk about that aspect because we was like, we just we just getting up, going to work, coming home. Mm-hmm. Getting up, going mm-hmm. to work, and coming home, and being we, useful to other people, right? And being we was like, "Wait a people. minute, we ain't doing nothing for ourselves." So I'm like, every time I hear a story like that, because actually, um, um, I lost my dad in in uh, 2007, and my mom talked about the same thing that she wished they that, that that they had traveled more when he was living, and I was like, "I'm I'm so glad you said that, mm-hmm. uh, because it lets us know we grabbed the right bulls by the horn." And traveling like we have have created so many memories for us. <laughs> it has brought yes. us closer together. I'm telling you, we, we we try to capture as much as we can in video, but of course, there's a lot that you don't see. <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all probably see five percent. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, um, but sorry to hear that, Samuel, man, because you you definitely right on, you spot on. And anybody that's in the comments that you are with somebody. Or if you're not with somebody, take that to heart, man, because you don't know yeah. um, the day or the hour that, that God's going to call you home. Hello. And we told you the story um, last week and a week for that Hello. when the queen was he dehydrated and she passed out in our bathroom. Her eyes rolling back her head. I thought she was gone. And I was like, oh, my God. So that that right there even put even more gas in my tank mm-hmm. to push to do more um, in our relationship and travel more. Cause I, I I don't know. Likewise, right. All Likewise. right. So Hampton, uh, Hampton, nineteen ninety seven said I needed that information. All right. Hey, I right, wanted to say great information. Hey Michelle. Hey Kim. What's up, family? All right. So we we on the right button tonight. All right. So wow, you guys are doing the same thing my husband and I do. Yes, indeed. Confirmation. The confirmation. It works. Hey Kelly. What's hey up, Linda. Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> hey Linda. All right. Tell your mommy and the boys we say hello. All right. Any recommendations for a good savings account to use? Yes, indeed. I'm so glad you asked. You asked the right, wrong person. <laughs> so uh, the sad thing is that if you go to a traditional bank, their savings rates are trash. Suck. Uh, but I can put you on game. So right now, um, PayPal actually has a savings account uh, that the rate, the last time I looked, was 4.3%. So if you're looking to get a decent savings rate, that is a route to take. Also, um, Apple has a good rate. I think there's around 4 four or 5%. Don't quote me, but it's somewhere around, around in that realm. So those are actually good ones. But if you don't trust those and you want to use a traditional savings account, um, uh, you can use Capital One. Uh, hey, we Chanel. we use we use them. We kind of bounce. There's a uh, there's another avenue that we use for savings too, but I don't want to bring it up on this live because I don't want oh, yeah. to That's confuse. A big like, hole. <laughs> so it's yeah. So there's like there's another way of savings that can like supercharge your your traveling uh, uh, savings where you able to even do more. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to get into gate- it. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Don't think we're gatekeeping. It yeah. just takes a lot of explanation. Right. So uh, maybe uh, in another live or in a video, we'll talk about that because there's a lot of nuances that come with that. But it's a like it's a game changer. We d- we discovered it halfway through our plan. We discovered it mm-hmm. and it has changed everything. But mm-hmm. yeah, PayPal or Apple or Capital One, Bank of America. Yes. But just know them. Their savings rates are super low. But at least you are accumulating money to be able to travel. Yeah. What's up, Letitia? Thank you guys so much. I learned so much from y'all. Indeed. Appreciate that. Hey, Monica, Monica said you work hard, you play hard. Yeah. Finally, we can actually say that because yes. we, we used to couldn't say that. Right. All we right. We used to couldn't say that at all. 
All right, thank you, Mark, for another well, ninety-nine dollars. Mark, Mark. Mark. I said ninety-nine dollars, ninety-nine cents. Super chat. Mark, Mark and Mark said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, the decimal <laughs> is not in the right place." What's up, Javita? Thank you so much Javita, for the one ninety-nine super chat. Greatly appreciated. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley, for the four ninety-nine. So I absolutely agree. I treat vacations like a bill every month in my account. Um, I also book in advance. Twenty-five hundred dollars mm-hmm. over two years is much more manageable. Yes, Come on it now. is. Yep. Preach it. Come on. And that was one of the things that we wanted to say, too. Like when we first started out, even though we started saving. If we had big ticketed um, trips, we took that long, like 18 to 24 months to break that thing down so that it is chewable. Right. Like that is that is significant. Right. To bring out of your income when you're not used to that amount of money coming out. Yeah. So, yeah, we we used to drag that thing out. So now Mm -hmm. we finally got into a point where we are ahead of the trips. So even if we're on a trip, shout out to some people on the other trip we were just on that was like, you need to go on this trip, <laughs> that we could reach back and just pull it out and just, okay, it's done. Right. So Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because we had got tired of having to wait for a year or two years of travel. So yeah, that's another advantage of that vacation savings that if something mm-hmm. pops up today, like, oh, I got it. There you go. Boom. Yeah. And, that, they, and the advantage of that too, I mean to cut you off, is that if you, you did see, mean to I cut did, me off. I did. <laughs> <laughs> if you see a deal or if you see something that's like, whoa, you don't really, I mean, you have to think about it, but right. you don't have that, ooh, that because that the way that these computers work and how cookies work is as soon as you get interested in it, the computer knows. The big brother knows that you're interested in it. Yep. So that's why when you go back to it, so if you see a flight that's like round trip $200, and then when you, like, okay, now I can do it, it's $700. Yep. Because the cookies know yep. that now you're interested. So it's demanding to drive. So that's another thing that when you start having a savings account and you start to see that, hey, something is at a manageable price, like I right. don't mind paying that. That's how we got on <clears throat> Royal Caribbean. Yep. I was legit searching. And it was like two people, balcony cabin, seven hundred dollars. Yeah, let go. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. And and, and then people and we because this is a mistake that we made uh, when when attempted that be like we can't afford to travel because we was looking at how much money we had left after we paid our main expenses. And the average person don't have no twenty five hundred, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand mm-hmm. to take a trip after their paycheck. Yeah. So that's that's where that that vacation savings account of accumulating that that money over time helps with that. Hey, Lauren. What's up, Lauren? Said, uh, hey, y'all, love your content. Been cruising since. Uh, I was uh, about eight years old. I love okay. that. I'm now 25 and I love it. Definitely need more savings tips. I'm still learning, man. Listen. Yep. Open up that vacation savings and every time you get some money. Throw it in there was five dollars, ten dollars, because mm-hmm. it's not about the amount. It's about building the habit and building the momentum. Because mm-hmm. once you get in and that thing starts to really build up, man, shoot, you gonna be throwing money in like like it ain't no tomorrow. But like, shoot, I ain't going out this weekend. Yeah. I'm gonna take the two hundred dollars and put it in this vacation savings so I can get on this cruise next year. And ours one one of the I tell you one of the things that also because we said about eating out, but it kind of goes along with it. Corporate America put you in this. I got to have my Starbucks every morning. Mm-hmm. I got to have my Wawa every morning. Mm-hmm. And when we look one time. Oh, that we skit like, that skit adds up fast, boy. Like, oh. like when your mama say, we got McDonald's at home. I was like, I got coffee at home. <laughs> I went to the Dollar Tree and got those nice mugs with the lid on it. Yep. And I was like, I'm making my coffee at home. It is not that deep. And your mama was <laughs> buying lunch every day down the cafeteria. Yeah. Added that up. Be like, what? And it ain't that good. Right. So we spending a few hundred dollars a week in the cafeteria at work? Yeah. Oh, that was that was crazy. All right. What's up, Squeeze? Say on cruising January the 7th. Cruise right. four times a year. Love hey. it. Love it. Uh, say I've been using the Rocket Money app and they have an awesome savings awesome. platform. Yeah, I heard of them. Um, yeah. you, you don't even realize the money is gone, right? Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so that's how um that's how I um that I started. I automated it. So now I don't automate it because I have other strategies that I use. I kind of do stuff a little bit manually. He does a lot of stuff. Yeah, manually. I got a lot of stuff going, but <laughs> yeah, does. I definitely was out of mind, out of sight. Said uh yes, my goal is something new every quarter. Uh 
Said cars are expensive. So Delay. Amir said delayed gratification for a year or two. Right. Yep. Right. Because we go <laughs> today ain't trying to be funny. The way we were living, we was delaying it anyway. So let's right. get intentional about delaying the gratification. Right. Yeah. And then anytime you get intentional about anything, but especially with it the hurts. cruising, is distraction always follows intention. Listen. So let me tell you, when you go and you open up that vacation savings account, everything in their mama and the kitchen zinc is going to come at you to try to make sure that you don't put a dime in it. In it. But you have to push, you have to persevere anyhow mm -hmm. and put that money in there if that's what you really want. Say, our Porsche said, yeah, cars are expensive. My car is paid for it, and I have no desire to have a car payment. Amen to that. Listen, once you don't have a car payment, oh, you your, can't your life, drag me into one. <laughs> man, that, that opens your life up for so much what? more. Yeah, dude. Mm -mm. You, can't, <laughs> you cannot drag me into one. What's up, Cheryl? Say, I'm going on my first cruise January the 24th. Yay! Yes, indeed. Have a good time. What's up, Jay Wilson? Say, yep, got to have both faith and works. Hmm, indeed. That's it. Because the Bible said faith without works is dead. But some people think they just go have uh, faith and just sit back. And God looking at you like, what you want me to do with that? <laughs> All right. Marky Mark said, yes, that's what I do. I did seven trips this year. Hey. Love it. Love it. That's what's Teresa up. Teresa said, preach that. Out. Yeah. Let me see, y'all. Uh, Geneva said, uh, wasted money flipping cars every other year. Stop the madness. I got rid of cable too. That's Nick's on that list. That is Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Evaluate <laughs> where to save money on insurance and other subscriptions. Right. Because mm -hmm. a lot of us is paying for subscriptions on our TV, on our smart TV that we don't even watch no more. We you pay know? for Hulu that we don't watch. <laughs> right. <laughs> so when we say this, like we are not perfect, like we still have leaks that are taking some money that we can actually redirect somewhere else. So, All right, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I guess now we can talk about... Um, oh, hold up. Oh, I, you got I, something, baby? I got something right here. Hey. hey, hey. Woo. What's up, Tam Tam? Hey, hey. Thank, first of all, thanks for being a member Remember of the channel eight for months. eight months. We greatly appreciate, appreciate that. that. Um, we are solo travelers um, charge more do the, why our solo travelers cost? Yeah, the more do the widows get a discount? No, and unfortunately, for I mean, you know, unfortunately, it works with most cruises, cruise lines. It works just like hotels. Hotel doesn't care if it's one or two or three or four or five people in it. Right, you're gonna pay for the room. So that's kind of the same um, method that the cruise lines use because they're like, okay, whether you brought one person to sleep in this cabin or two, we got to fund all of this. So. That's kind of how it works. Sucks, yes. Right. But there are certain cruise lines that do cater to solos that have solo cabins. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, it's some money. I mean, it's a numbers game. Yeah. And unfortunately, I mean, you get discounts for like um, 55 and older. If you, you know, pass railroad or airline, you know, they, they do have different deals and interline rates that you can use depending on if you qualify. EMS, I mean, EMTs. Uh, EMS. What the hell is EMS? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I say travel is my love language. Yes, indeed, Star. What's, what's hey, up, star? star? Thank you so much for the twenty dollars super chat. Greatly appreciate that. So thank you both and happy holidays. You happy too. holidays to you, you too. too, Star. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, let's flip back around here. Yeah. Say we gonna see Star in July. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right, here we go. All right. You caught up? <clears throat> All right. So Samuel says, schedule your PTO around your weekends. Mm -hmm. Yep. And holidays to maximize your PTO days. Yep. Indeed. That was my strategy. For, listen, Memorial Day, you better not put that on the calendar because that's mine. <laughs> because <Yep. laughs> that's what I was going to schedule my time to maximize that PTO. Said, got to be strategic with PTO. Wrap it around those free holidays. Yep. Let's see, you we Dern Show used to do that too. Yep. Make make them stretch. Mm, and if you have seniority on your job like I did, who gonna check me? Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so Amir said, in my, a change in mindset is necessary. It's achievable. And as suggested, consider exploring a second job or a side hustle, embracing a period of living below your financial means. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. Yep. Yeah. And we can talk about what some of our side hustles were. 
um, at that time. To be honest with you, um, YouTube became a, a side hustle. Yeah. Like, it was something that we enjoyed, and we started YouTube for a totally different reason. Right. We started YouTube because, honestly, we looked out at social media, and we looked out at YouTube, and I'm a person, I love vlogs. Like, I love to watch normal people in their normal element doing normal skits. And I looked out and every couple that I saw didn't look like me. I didn't have a problem with looking at other couples, but I needed the relatability. And I was like, no couple out there looks like me that's doing YouTube. I mean, there's a several of them out there now. But when we started, it was just like Juicy Sandy from um, Socialized Sandy. Um, I think yeah, because you was heavily into the vlogs, and you show you showed me Gabe and Babe, and that's yeah, and that's and what, I um, love their channel. That's what that's what turned me what was bought my. I was like, man, we can do so that. He said we can do that. And I said I'm not <clears throat> doing that. So my idea wasn't that. My idea was seeing. I thought it was really cool to to vlog your life. I'm like, oh, so people actually and watch you can life. do that, and you can make money off of that. Yeah, yeah. So and crazy enough, like we quickly garnered you know a good little following. Of course, it didn't <sighs> grow like it did once we got into you know travel space. But we had a good little following our own mm -hmm. little community of people and yep. family. You know, we would we would actually like when we flew out different places, we would meet up and go eat breakfast. Right. Like it became like our hobby. Right. That just happened to pay us. Yeah. <laughs> and so, for a while, like, yeah, like it yeah, started off paying like a car payment. Yeah, because back then, like, yeah, once we got momentum going on the channel, we was making anywhere from five extra five hundred to a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Uh, a month, um, just vlogging. Yeah, uh, yeah. So that was crazy. Mm -hmm. All right, Letitia said goal is three times a year for us since we have a baby now. Congrats! Oh, congrats! Want to do a family cruise and a vacation and a family staycation? See, you hit them all. Yes, indeed, <laughs> and make it happen. Yep. Make it happen. See, that vacation going to start another family vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how can I order these shirts? Not yet. We Not won't yet. have them ready in January. Yeah, we have, won't have them ready in January for you guys. We appreciate it, Samuel, though. Say, hey, Stanley and Nett, I have followed your channel for a while, but got to meet yeah, you man. on MSA 2.0. Love your vibe on here and in person. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Lance. It was nice meeting you, too. I think we took the picture at um Mr. Sancho's, didn't we? I think it was, I think it was Mr. Sancho's Sancho? we took that picture. I think. All right. Dave said, amen, amen. We're picking up what y'all putting <laughs> down. Yeah. All right. So um Javid, you sell your weeks at your time share. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, That's one good. way to recoup. Yeah. What's up, Katie? Hey, Pop? Katie Pop so I caught a lie. Andy, hey and Ryan, right. Ryan said I'm late. No, you always on time. Yeah, you on time. You always on time. Said when you are timeshare, you have to be flexible. I have never had an issue with mine. I book ahead of time. That's right. great. Right. We went through. Uh, we were. We had bought ours through Blue Green. Yeah. All right. Amir says, Stanley, I appreciate the remarks from both of you and your spouse today. Love it. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you so hey, much. Miss Chanel. Yeah. Anytime, anytime we can add some value to make your life better and to inspire you uh, to do something better or reach your dreams or your goals, that's that's what we love because I feel like that's what God bring us into each other's lives for, to inspire us mm -hmm. to be better. So we always going to be on the move trying to reach for higher heights and deeper depths. Miss mm -hmm. A said, my only regret is not, um, waiting so long. Let's not say regret. Let's say my lesson. Yeah. Was that I, I waited too long. All right. So um, Aaron, Aaron has said, my Christmas savings account goes directly to travel. Hey. Kids ask for a cruise for Christmas. That's what I'm talking about. My girlfriend yeah, no, does say, the yeah. same thing. Like her child does not want gifts. Her child says, what is our next vacation? Yep. And of course, they, they buy one gift so that he can have something to um, unwrap on Christmas. But other than that, they like he's learned that I'd rather have the memories of traveling than to have a bunch of gifts. Right. What's up, nice? Oops. Nick. What's up, Nick T? Thank you so much for the nine, $9.99 super chat. Hey, Lynette and Stanley, hey. I've been blessed with four paid vacation. Weeks. No car payments. Kids are grown. Hey. It's now my time to fulfill mm -hmm. my dreams of traveling more. 
Thank you for the insight. And High that's, five. Bam, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Hey. What's up, Tavon? Hey, Tavon. All right, thank you for becoming a member of the channel family, even though you was already a member of the channel family because you family, family, yes. anyhow. Anyway. <laughs> Woo. All right, traveling with Gail. Yeah. Thank you so thank much you so for much. for the uh, five dollar super chat. We greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. What's that background behind your picture? I'm nosy. It looks like Punta Cana. All right, let's see. Uh, Say the 100 envelope challenge. Hold up, I'm gonna make sure I. You wanna make sure you ain't missing nobody. Yeah. Now I'm going on down. Hey Tam Tam. All right. So Tam Tam said, I try to do an expensive hey, trip Rita. and several inexpensive trips during the year mm -hmm. and try all try to use all the discounts I qualify. God, you guys Hello. have helped too. Awesome. Yeah. So that was that was our approach. We was like one expensive. Um, mm -hmm. and then the rest of them was small, you know, one, two, three hundred dollar trips right. that you know that wouldn't you that know you could break drive the bank. to yeah. yeah, go to the mountains. Yeah. Linda said, "Keep <laughs> keep on teaching because I'm trying to learn." <laughs> if y'all want to know why we keep calling the Linda, um, if y'all had missed the live, like we had kind of like a he wasn't us like a bad stalker, but we had this guy that just really wanted to have fun with us the entire cruise that we were on on this past group cruise we were on, and he would not let Kelly live. You hear me? So he asked me, "What's her name?" Like who? I said, that's my sister, and her name is Linda. Like, mm -hmm. I gave him the, like, don't try it. And he was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and she was like, I'm reading your lips, and you're like, no, that's my sister. Her name is Linda. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so we, we had to do the buddy system to make sure that everybody was all right. All right. So uh, C said, the 100 envelope challenge equals your 800 plus a month savings you do. Right, mm, true, true, true. I never was successful with that. Yeah, we, yeah, I we, tried. yeah, we tried the envelope method, and it, we just, we failed. And miserably. some people do wonderful yes, with yeah. it. Yeah, so it, it's about finding what you want, finding your thing, finding your thing. As long as you get the money in there to do what you want to do, whether you do the envelopes, the savings account, put Pay it on your bank. mattress, give it to your grandma, give it to your mama, it makes no difference. Accumulate the money so you can be able to travel the way you want to travel. Yeah. Marky Mark said, love how you all broke this down. I have seven trips this year. Ooh, I learned to enjoy seven. my fruit. Yes, indeed. Listen. And when and he the made it sweet. Yes. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Because we all, we all work hard, man, for the money that we make. So why not take a exactly. portion of that and enjoy yourself in this life? Because you only live once. That's it. You only live once. So you might as well make it count. Says Sh Shara Dallin. Dallin? Sharondalin? Sharondalin. I think I said it right. You're going to read the say, comment? Hey, I, I was Don't trying to get my tongue right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, family, I travel more with when my kids were younger. Now that they're in college, we travel less. College tuition is no joke. Listen, when I paid mine off, uh huh. <laughs> woo, woo, I remember, <laughs> I remember like strategically doing the deferments. <laughs> <laughs> like and when I when we finally one day looked at it, and we were like, "This is gonna hurt," but we have enough in savings to just get it behind us. Yeah, and we did it and pay it all. Because it seemed like it never ends. It didn't end. Like you make a payment and the principal go down by three dollars, but you but you just put three four hundred dollars on it. And here's the gag: as <clears throat> most people are, I never had a job in my field. Nope, ever. Business administration with a minor in business law. Yep. <laughs> so you got smart at it, but you didn't make no money off no, of it. <laughs> so they wanted to start me off like at $20,000 a year, like back in like 98. I was like, that's crazy. No, not for this. <laughs> so I got into banking and banking was like, we're going to start you here. And I was like, where do I start? What's up, Timothy? Say, hey, watching from um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, hey. uh, going on my first cruise July 13th through the 18th, 2024 on Carnival Sunrise for a family reunion. All right. And I'm planning to go cruising for my birthday starting August of 2025. Come on now. That's what's up, bro. Yeah. Y'all have a good time too, man. Uh-huh. 
it, man, when you go when you go with family and with groups, it's, you have the best times, man. I'm telling yes. you, you have the best times. Oh my god. Jervetta says, yes, my perspective changed and travel increased after my husband died. I am yes, so sorry, yes, y'all. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh my yeah. God. How I want to ask, you're doing okay during the holidays. I love to check on people. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I know that it can get super, super tough. Yeah. I know it will be super, super tough for me if you wasn't here. Mm. I already know. Likewise. Let's see. All right. So we Likewise. <laughs> Don't even get it twisted. <laughs> So make sure I. Mm. All right, here we go. What's up, Duke? Say, how do you rein in entertainment spending while saving for future travel? For example, going out on Fridays and Saturdays, um, do you stay in more? No, uh, <laughs> not, not now. Right. It was so in the beginning. So in the beginning of starting the vacation savings, we did have to make a temporary sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So we knew that not being able to go out on Fridays and Saturdays for a short period of time was going to yield mm -hmm. great benefits of us being able to travel because at the end of the day, the traveling feels a whole lot more better than going out on Fridays and Saturdays. So now, so what we did was we, we came up with a plan where we have money now to be able to 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 have fun on weekends and be able to travel mm -hmm. so that was also put into our we we didn't get into that because i just yeah. wanted to want to talk about travel but yeah so it's 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 knowing the numbers so like how much does it cost for you to go out on fridays and saturdays yeah. and then how much does it cost for you to be able to travel the way that you want to travel and then that's how much money you need to have every single year to make those things happen and, and then it doesn't i mean it kind of helps us because we're both true introverts so we love the company that we keep in our house. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it that helped us as well. But then when we when our extrovert tendencies kick in, we outside. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the craziest thing. We go from one extreme to the other. Right. Because actually, uh, you brought that up. We were just looking at um our entertainment spending um a few weeks ago, and uh, huh. <sighs> Uh, we was like, uh, it wasn't that we didn't have the money, but the amount of money that we were spending made no it was sense. like, oh, like, man, that's, a, that's another cruise right there. Yeah. Like, like for a few no months sense. of doing that, that's that's another cruise right there. So we we quickly axed it. Poof. So we still do it. But yeah. 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 So most time it's really not sometimes about whether you can afford it or not. Is that does it, does it make sense that I want to do this but i'm taking my money and doing that mm -hmm. yeah yeah let's see uh i saw jervet I, I see your comment um, anytime honey anytime i thought i saw oh I thought i saw some uh, i saw something too that we wanted to there read. you go that's what i was looking for right here. we got her no nah, we didn't oh get this okay one. Thank you so hey. much, on Charlotte with Gail, for becoming a new member of the channel. And Welcome uh, to the family. Forgive my um, house manners. Uh, we do, for those of you all that are new here, we do have memberships that if you want to support the channel, uh, we do have a gold tier membership uh, that you can join. And then we have a vlog member um, tier membership if you want to support the channel. But you also want to get like behind the scenes of our traveling, behind the mm -hmm. scenes of our life at home or whatever we decide to do to uh, further keep you entertained while you're not watching our cruise videos. We you can that. definitely sign up for that. The link is going to be below down in the description. I don't think I put it in there yet. Yeah, but... so come back after the live and we'll fix the links. Yes. What's up, Taylor? Thank hey, you so Taylor. much for the four ninety nine dollars Super Chat. Say off topic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no problem, but I've been been um, binging your videos for my first Royal Caribbean in February. Oh, wow. I know your videos about Carnival, but I'm hoping that it still works. We actually yes. heard that it does. Look, I've heard people say I'm on celebrity. Mm -hmm. I use your videos, and I'm like, hey, you know, it's other people out there. But I said I, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, all of them had their little tweaks and their one-offs that are a little unique to the brand. But for right. the most part, it's the same. Yeah, and and eventually we're gonna be doing some um, teaching videos for um, Royal Caribbean. That's, they're they're gonna start next year. Uh, so for those of you guys that don't know how to do it, it's coming. 
Hey, Gwen. Gwen What's said up? the fact that she stumbled on this video right now, I consider this a sign. Listen, oh, yeah. A nothing sign. just happens. Even right. the bad stuff. I'm just like. Say God is I, always speaking. Listen, this entire. But you just got to be listening. November and December. I'm like, what the freak is going on? <laughs> <laughs> like when I tell y'all, I'm like, what is going on? But I just. It is what it is. What's up, Tiff and Dre TV? What's up, fam? Said life hey, is short. It is. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, it was uh uh back over the summer. Uh, I had told you guys I had fell upon this YouTube video. This guy was talking about um uh the average time of living, the average um age of death is uh 80. So they say 79.58, something like that. So we just say 80. Yeah, and then he was like, if you 40 years old and you go see your mama once a year. And you're 40, that means that you only gonna yeah. get to see your mama 40, 40 more, more times. times. And I, I that that thing just like supercharged me into like putting it in. I was like, if I'm average, so that means if me and the queen only travel once a year and if we're average as far as death, I only get to travel with her 40 more times. So I was like, we got to amp that up because yeah. 40 more times is not a lot. So, yeah, that just made me think of that. <laughs> it sounds like a lot, but it's not a lot. Mm -hmm. What's up, uh, Devontae? Said, what cruise has been your favorite? Uh, for me, has it, been... I think it um, keeps changing for me. <laughs> um, always still at the top of my list is going to be uh, Virgin Voyages on the Scarlet Lady has been my favorite cruise. Um, which destination, though? I'll say mine was... Um, I keep... It's between... And it's not because it's carnival, but because it was my birthday and it was just like my favorite people were there. Um, I didn't have to worry about nobody. It wasn't a group. Like I legit, because if you've noticed, like most cruises that I do, I do them for groups and I always bring a bunch of people with me. So I'm always kind of like in enjoyment, but also it's very much work. Right. This was the first time that I could just woo saw and like enjoy being celebrated. So that was very like. And then going to Greece, Greece on Virgin Voyages on the Resilient Lady is one of the trips that is just like, it's yeah. what dreams are made of, honestly. Right. It's one of those places that I never figured that, I mean, I didn't want to go, honestly. Y'all heard me say I didn't want to go. Um, and then I'm like, fool, I'm going to need you to broaden your horizon yeah. because it just wasn't something I, I had any interest in. And, right. and once being there, I'm like, wow. Right. Like, wow. <laughs> That's why we talking about uh, possibly trying to get over to Dubai. Yeah. Next year. Because I, I want I want to get a Lamborghini and, and race uh, race is. down the desert in a Lamborghini. But didn't he just talk about the life expectancy of a man is 80? Uh, hey. Hey. If I got to go that way, <laughs> I was in a oh, Lamborghini. No, don't do doing that. It. <laughs> don't do that. Uh-uh. Boy, what I meant to say, I'd rather leave out of here on the move than in park. Mm. Zaire said, after 16 years of marriage, the last year traveling has been the best year of our marriage. Yeah. Listen. Uh-huh. Yup. It would be the best year of it, all the stuff too. It supercharges. <laughs> I'm telling you, it supercharges. <laughs> uh, the main thing of when you traveling with your spouse or your significant other, it's a time where you ain't worried about washing no dishes, making no bed, cleaning no house mm -hmm. you guys just can love on each, each other, other and spend time together and in our regular life sometimes it gets hard because you got to work some of the distractions some of got kids and then your job is pressing on you so yep. when you get away that's that free time where you can get free key if you want oh <laughs> got you <laughs> I'll see you, Kelly. What's up, Kelly? <laughs> hey, what's up, mama and and, uh, and and the boys? Yeah, we told them high first. <laughs> so they just tell her there's high back. Uh, Nakia said, my husband and I, I think, think of going me. on a cruise. Um, you have suggested yeah, it be you our have a little oh, have suggested be our first trip. Mm -hmm. mm. It did. It, it would be. It would depend on what type of person you are. Right. So if you're like the one that's like adventurous and you just want like the family reunion vibe, then that's calling for all day long. But right. go on the newer ships. Right. Celebration, Mardi, Mardi Gras. Or um, the Jubilee. Jubilee. Just, just I would even out. say you can do Horizon. Right. Um, But if you want something that's a little bit like, if you're a little bit more low key and a little bit more chill, 
but you have that pocket of it could get turned up at any minute and I don't have to participate. But if I do want to participate, it's going to be lit. <laughs> right. Good food, good vibes. That's virgin. Yes. Um, because it's yacht style. But if you want something that has like a lot of variety, and I'm glad that we finally did go on Royal Caribbean because yeah. now I know its place is if you want like like pretty much a little combination of it all, but the pace is a little slower than Royal Caribbean. Yes. Because Royal Caribbean <clears throat> ships unmatched. Yeah. Like their ships are so innovative. Yeah. They're beautiful. I can't wait to get like, on the icon. They don't look like ships. I can't wait to get on the icon in January. Yeah. Come on, January. You're not coming fast enough. So uh Life Phages said your energy got me through my first cruise Whoa. now <laughs> on number five. Don't blame me for that. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> That's what's up. Wow. Wow, we inspired you to do on oh, wow. That's amazing. Said my cousin says the same thing. She was like, I have a passport because of you. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. What's up, Miss Queen B? Said my husband and I travel a lot. We took six cruises this year. Mm. That's what's up. And three land trips. That's nine trips this year. Ooh. Last year, we took five trips in 2021. Ooh. We took seven trips in 2020. And we took three trips. Look, bye that, bye. that was interesting. Yeah, man. And not only interesting, but life-changing. Big Merck said use, he uses Fidelity for savings. That's good. Okay. 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 We could never use Fidelity Mutual because uh, it was competition, remember? Yep. Yeah. When so when corporate. you work in corporate America, you work in banking and you're like bonded. You can't always like you have to get clearance to bank and invest and do different right. things with different companies. Yeah, especially for me, because yeah. I had my Series 7. So it was, yeah, especially when it came down to investments, I, I had to keep everything at uh at Wells Fargo. Did you really just tell him where we used to work at? Yeah, because we don't work there no more. It's yeah. not even called that. It's Wells Fargo. Yeah. <laughs> Say Ali Bank is good. I I'll say credit rates. unions is another way to save. Yes, credit unions is a great way. Their, their savings race is crap too, but they 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 have a good savings. Uh, Listen, and if you ever need a loan, like I am not an advocate for loan on loans, but if you ever need a loan, the rates. Like I got my um credit union account when I worked it when I was. It wasn't an internship because I got paid. I'll say temp work when I used to work for the state when I was doing both. <clears throat> Right. I got it then. <laughs> Cause back then you had to work for the state to actually get in. Now you can get in basically just by showing up and say I live across the street. Huh. All right. Alley Bank is a good and they have great rates. Okay. I used to um we did have Alley Bank one time. I might have to look back into that and see what those rates are. I don't even remember that. Yeah, I I, I remember said I'm a hospice nurse, life is short. God bless you. Said, live your life while you can. Yes, thank you for that. And it means a lot coming from you because you see it every day you when you go day. when you go to work. So that that means a lot. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, don't put your life on hold, man. Mm -mm. You got because uh, we we say it like this, so we have some trips planned for 2025 as well. Mm -hmm. But 2024, we have to do something because it's not guaranteed that you're gonna make it to 2025. So anytime you push stuff way out in the future, a long ways, it's not guaranteed that you're going to get there. So that's why you have to do stuff now just in case you don't get there. And it's not it's not about fear. It's one of those things in life that uncertainty of how long you're going to be here. And Javita said, yes, Capital One and Fidelity. Uh, what's up, Joanna? Hey, Joanna. We miss y'all. All right, let's see. Uh, Say liability versus, versus assets. assets. Baby, yes, listen. indeed. Listen. Definitely work hard, play hard. Love y'all's videos. Thank you, Miss Queen. Say I am booked. Say I am booked for an Alaska cruise for next August, plus the start of the season, Ooh. September of 2025. Come on that's now. What, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I get my first solo cruise. Got tired of traveling when others. <laughs> Good go. go. Uh huh. I had the best time ever. I caught a lot. Um, I'm glad I caught one of your lives. Indeed. Glad yes. you're here, Candy. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So, so Ryan said, Oh my God, I have watched this with my spouse from the beginning. Um, I'm still in the beginning, came late. <laughs> yeah, right. No prob, no prob. Hey, there you go. Q. The man of the hour. What's going on, Q? 
Yes. Q is um, Life With Us TV's photographer, if you don't know. We have we have given him a title. Yeah. So he is the grown and sexy um, photographer <laughs> and does an amazing job. Yeah, he So do. if you want a photographer that, I mean, you got to pay for him now. And, and yeah, and he'll be everywhere. And he will be everywhere that so. you want to be. Yeah, so you be, you be over the cut. He come over there. Hey y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so he would do amazing for like your family reunions if you have a family reunion and y'all get that little comp um room. Go ahead and look up somebody like my boy Q. Right. And he'll come on and y'all pay him and and I know he don't mind because he love to travel too. Yeah, he do. He always on a, on a cruise. See how I just put you out there like that, kid? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Nicole? Say Cat One currently has a 4.35% okay. online savings account. Y'all might have to I check got one it. of them. You I got Cat One? I do. It's my get out of Dodge account. Oh, I mean, I'm have to... <laughs> and I'm not joking. Like, as a married couple, we still advocate for having your own separate money. Right. Because if something happened... <laughs> I got to get out <laughs> and be yeah. able to live on my own. That and um, life insurance. Yes. Yeah, we could we could do a whole uh, whole um, live on life insurance. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me see. Uh, what's up, Fred C? Hey guys, been watching for a while. Love you guys. First time responding. Thank you so much for the twenty dollars super what chat. Took so long, and glad you were able to make it. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. Greatly mm -hmm. appreciate it. Mm -hmm. The widow. We got to talk about these trips that we took into. Like we got to do the countdown because that's what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. So we can uh, we can flow into that. Go ahead and um. So we're gonna talk about um the trips that we took in 2022. So, so. hold on. I saw a comment that I wanted to address because we just put out our um M well one of the MSC videos from um the Melanin SC um group cruise that we attended, which was an amazing group cruise. Oh. The oh. the actual crew cruise, MSC, one and done, one and done. Somebody asked um how does it compare to Royal? I, I lost the comment side. I'm sorry it's not on the screen. But how does Roy um MSC compare to like Royal and Carnival? MSC has so much potential because yeah, when I tell you that ship is beautiful, the aesthetics of, of the room, like they put they yeah. selected the right colors. Um, if you've ever gone to like a five star um, luxury resort, it has a smell. The ship cabins have that smell. Like when I say <laughs> it's it's on it, and that's where it ends. Yes. Like the entertainment sucks. Food, they try to starve you because one, the food started out okay on the first and second day. Right after that, <laughs> it was like. We lived off of burgers and ham sandwiches and ham sandwiches and pizza. Yeah. Because one, if you like, if you're out trying to party or like we were, we were in a group, like we all was up at night. We would have to run to go get pizza and kind of store it away yep. because there wasn't no quick eats. There was nothing that you could just grab and eat. Um, And then the biggest thing for me to let's because food I can get over. But I can't get over the the crowd. Yeah, that, the vibe from the crowd. The yeah. vibe from the crowd. It was a lot of microaggression. And when I said, "Well, it won't even micro," it mm. was it was major yeah, aggression, it was... and it was to the point where we started to feel uncomfortable. <clears throat> like people would walk up and it just like kind of just bump, like bump, bump you, you and you know? don't say excuse me. And, and it was kind of like it had yeah. that intentional feel to it. Yeah. It. it I didn't like. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's a it's a one and done, but it's the, the bad thing. Disrespect was real. That's the disrespect was real. We didn't mm -hmm. have that problem with the crew. Only one crew member. Yeah, we had an issue <clears throat> with. Um, yeah, well, like the like the ship in the in the in the crew was was excellent. Yeah, it, it just was the the people that they attracted. Yeah, the people yeah. they attracted and the entertainment. They it was almost like they purposely said, "I'm not giving y'all nothing." <laughs> Even when they they had it on the list to give us like Afro beats. In the club, what I heard was like I slept through it. And they say you ain't missed nothing because they mixed that into. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And the and the bad part about it, the price is excellent. The price is on point. Like they give you so much for the price. Yes, they give you so much. So yeah, hopefully they they will fix that aspect, or maybe just the cruise that we took that that was 
that proves it was that earnest that ass. I see it. I see oh. it now. They flipped down. <clears throat> All right, I got some before you get started on that. All right. Got a couple. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Avita, for the uh, 1999 hey, uh, super you. chat. Appreciate Said vacation check. fun, and guess what? <laughs> it's going down. That's exactly where it's going too. <laughs> mm -hmm. After YouTube take their cut. All right, we got this one more. I saw too. Take a spread. Someone. Uh, um, nope, not that. I saw one. I saw another one. Uh, Where am I? I think I'm. There you go. Far. I got it. You got it. What's up? What's up? Uh, one JJ left. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the two dollars super chat. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, thank you for these videos and lives. Help me so much. Indeed, you're so I, welcome. I, I, go down to the bottom and, and click on Miss A's comment. I ain't mean to laugh like that. Oh, so me, y'all. Let's see. Travel with Gail said, I do Yacht Club on MSC. Yeah, because y'all have y'all own restaurant. I think that if if I would ever give oh, you a chance to get it, I okay. probably would. No, I ain't read it. I read it in my mind. Oh, okay. Um, Let me see. All right. So you see, it's, it's all the way at the bottom. No. This one? Yeah. There you go. Said my room looked like someone filled a porno in it. <laughs> Bodily fluids on the sofa couldn't change rooms because it was sold out. So I put they put a sheet over it. Was this MSC? Huh. And I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't what was going on. Huh? Because I've never mind. I ain't gonna say what I say what I saw, but I, I I've seen them in pornos before. Huh. Um. <laughs> um. Say, so do you feel the reason they aren't they aren't up to par is because they're trying to find their way in the U.S. market from being a European style? I would accept that, but they used to be up to par. Yeah. From people that have been like from the beginning of when they first hit the U.S. and they really was on it, people fell in love with the brand because yeah, they it did. was on par. And now I don't know what's going on, but. They need to get it together because it if they get that right, they going they gonna dominate. Oh, it's gonna explode, yeah. Cause their their price point is their price point is perfect. Yeah, yeah. The price point is like, yeah. I mean, uh what did we pay? I keep I think you I told me eighteen like, hundred. No, it wasn't that. I think it was like thirteen hundred. Yeah, and that included the Wi Fi and the drink package. And the drink package. Like yeah. <laughs> and it was what? a balcony cabin. Like what? That is like crazy. Like, just imagine him in those you could take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I felt like I felt like I was like having to sneak food from my grandma's refrigerator because they <clears throat> it was like they were trying to starve a player. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Natasha L, for the 1999 super chat. Thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. We were talking a long time. Do I even want to do this countdown? Y'all want to do the countdown of the trips we took this year? You, you know, we can, we can, we can do we that. We can do that on another. Video. We can do another one, yeah. Because we're not gonna be back before the end of the year. I can tell you that. Yeah, because we are, uh, we out. We out of here. Yeah. Let me see. Uh... Roxy said, "Have we ever did Norwegian? Norwegian is not on my radar. Um, the Prima was, but honestly, I think whatever vibe Norwegian would give me, I think that I could substitute that on." like a royal or get that same kind of mm, on another ship. So for that is not on my radar because I don't feel that it has anything so different that I and and keep in mind I was gonna talk about this when I did my list, but we're gonna do it another time. Right. Most of the trips we pay for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like don't get it twisted. Like there are some that are like <clears throat> we work hard and the and the company is like, hey, this is on us. But for the most part we pay for our trips. Yep. So it definitely has to be something that I am interested in to spend my money to go. Right. And I and we prefer that. I mean, we're gonna be honest anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you know, when you spend your own money, that kind of hits different uh than when somebody gives you something. But either way, we say you gave us this trip. Mm -hmm. and, and if it sucks, we're gonna we're gonna let let, let the fam let you know. know. Yep. I think that's why companies don't reach out to us <laughs> because they were like, if it sucks, they go say it. Yes, oh, yeah. I am. Oh yeah, we're gonna say it. Hell, we ripped Carnival apart to the point they had the police call me. <laughs> What's up, T Glass? If you have a travel destination in mind, Skyscanner can tell you when is mm -hmm. the cheapest time 
of the year to go visit. Yep. Google can too. Google. That's um, why you did that. I do that with Google. Like if I don't know where I want to go, but I know like, oh, I want to go somewhere in June. I'll just go in and like do like Google flights and don't. It's a way to do it. And it, it just shows you what the overall prices are from where you're going to leave from. What's up, vibing with these? Hey, y'all, book yes. a cruise back in June. Um, finally about to board in a hey, day. Hey, that's exciting. Been watching y'all ever since. Hey, appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> Young girls, they know. <laughs> <laughs> What's hey, up, Rolo? Rolo? So I made a live. And oh, did. All right. So all right. So Miss Queen said next year, 2024, seven cruises book. That's what I'm talking Golly. about. Seven opportunities to enjoy your life. Mm -hmm. We keep talking about enjoy the joy, the joy. And I said, I got to slow down. We we said we were going to slow down this year. And then we ended Shoot. up with dang on how many? Eight trips? Eight trips. Some it would have been nine. We had to cancel one. Yeah, we had to cancel one. Yeah. Uh, what's up, uh, uh, Trav? Trav hey, everyone. I'm glad I caught the live. I'm a new subscriber. Well, well, welcome, welcome. welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Said, welcome to the right hand of fellowship. <laughs> So my, my father always said, if you got a quarter, save a nickel. Hello. Right. Uh -huh. Hello. It always worked. Mm -mm. So Zaire said, I used I used to use keep the, the change. change with B of A. What do you think? Uh, uh yeah, we, yeah. Rounding up always helps. Yeah, we um we've done we've done that with Bank of America and we've done that with um Wells Fargo when um well not Wells Fargo when we was Wachovia. Yeah, because yeah. we didn't have an account with Wells Fargo. I refused. Yeah. That should tell you something. <laughs> hey, Mel on the move. Let's hello, Mel on the move. Said um, Timothy Deal. Say I always save money for a rainy day. Yeah, you battle. <laughs> I even calculate my airfare and Uber. Yes, yes, indeed. Shoot, this um, is our mortgage. <laughs> I want, I want to add something to this that that can take you to a whole nother level. Uh, that I used to say that my I save for a rainy day. And with that rainy, that mentality, it's gonna rain. <laughs> so I like to say I'm I have an opportunity fund. Yeah, you do. So whatever opportunity comes along, whether it's a vacation, whether it's an emergency, or I want to bless somebody, or I want to do something else, the opportunity always arises for that. But when I was like, I'm saving for emergencies or a rainy day, guess what? It started raining and Draining my savings account, I'll save account like no tomorrow. Mm. But that just that just my two cents right there. But uh yes, you absolutely 100 percent correct. I'm saying so I said my player partner Stella. What's up? What's up, fam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Mel on the move said yes, team, no car payment. Yeah, car payments are underrated because after you after you had a car for the that's why they give you 30 day tags because they know after 30 days <laughs> you can be regretting having to make that car payment. So they make you think you got it for free for 30 days. <sighs> Say what's what's up? Uh what's oh, what's up, Gina? Hey Gina. Uh, let me see. Uh so Gina Samuel said Virginia. if you want to travel but low in money. Do local vacations? Yes, we did it for years. Yeah. So I live and in still do. It. Yep, uh, I live in Arkansas, and there are a lot of places around here and surrounding states. A lot of local options. Yes, it is. That's actually a great way, especially when, if you just starting a vacation savings and you mm -hmm. want to be able to still travel. Yeah, yeah look up them things. locals. Yeah, like there is there legit is beauty in your backyard. Yeah, it really is. All right. What's up? What's up, Vanessa? Thank you so much for the oh, 1999 you. Super Chat. Said, hi, I am so happy I found your channel, my husband, and I celebrated our 20th anniversary in October oh, on the Carnival Radiance. Congrats. Uh, we had so much fun with my husband. It's retired Navy. He is ready to go on the next cruise. That's big. Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad you said that because we was talking about something the other night. What? Uh, I have a question for you, especially for the, the husbands or the wives or the girlfriend, boyfriends, or however you have. How many husbands oh, yeah. or fellas on here that actually started traveling because your wife brought you to the channel and you got inspired? 
that's what we wanted to ask. I almost forgot. I didn't. It won't me. Yeah, it I want to ask. Yeah, <laughs> that you because we 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 get it every now and then, but it'll be very interesting to see in the chat. Him and you are here because your your wife brought you here. Or Eric. obviously, and, and then uh, uh, Eric is in the chat. What's up, Eric? What's up, family? <laughs> e money. Eric, e money. Yeah, can't wait to see you again, too. All, all of y'all, man. Can't wait to see all of y'all. Or vice versa, if you uh if 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 you are a wife or girlfriend and um your husband brought you here. Yeah, that so you know. Yeah, I'm laughing at Big Merc. Don't you put that house off. <laughs> he said, I'm ready to put this house off and, and go travel five trips next year. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, trust me, I have felt that way too. Ooh. I legit, we legit been talking about selling our house and getting a condo. <laughs> All right. So Melanie Moose said, I went on four cruises this year. I know that's right. Uh, and then Monica said, not to mention Uber Eats and all these fees. Yeah, yeah. They, they, yo, during show tech and all them fees. Yo. Okay. Way off topic. But this is the rabbit holes that I go into. So. Have you all like noticed like on Uber or DoorDash that there are restaurants oh. that are listed that you have <laughs> never heard of before? And you just think that maybe because we've been sh shut in for like three years almost that, okay, you know, I just didn't know this existed or well, I ain't been around that area. So I didn't know that this place existed. And come to find out, like we got this place called the Best D Breakfast. And we ordered from them, and I was like, this is the worst deep breakfast I ever had in my life. That part. But come to find out that there are a lot of ghost kitchens that are going under the different ghost names. But for instance, it could still be IHOP. Yeah. So IHOP could be on DoorDash on under like four different restaurant names with totally different menus. And then the kitchen has to bag them up generically so that you don't know that you just order IHOP. And this skit is going on. Like, I fell in this rabbit hole and I was like, we're not tripping. <laughs> right. We're not tripping. Like, we, this restaurant doesn't exist. Have y'all seen that? Like, have y'all witnessed that? Right. Yeah, ghost. That's right, Sam. Your ghost kitchen. That's yes. what they call yep. ghost kitchens. I'm like, but but I was I was um I was uh floored that these these regular restaurants are doing it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Like these yeah. big ones. Yeah, that's that's the part that floored me because I knew about the ghost kitchens because um actually Mr. Beast do it. Um, literally uh, somebody just <laughs> just said that Mr. Yeah, Beast, Mr. Beast, yeah, do it. yeah. So I knew about that, but I'm like these. These um popular chains, they they faking us out too. I said, yeah. what I said, what in the catfish is going on here? <laughs> so y'all, y'all catfishing us, man. Yeah, yeah, Chuck E. Cheese. They say, um, <laughs> I was reading this story because I go down these rabbit holes and I get on Reddit. I I I'm just one of the, I, if I get obsessed with something, there is no end to how far I'll go with it. <laughs> um, so I was on Reddit. This guy was saying that like during the pandemic, he was like crushing this pizza from this Italian spot. And he said one day his wife <laughs> did a, re re a reverse Google on the address and it was <laughs> Chuck E. <and> Cheese. Yep. <laughs> he said, I'm spending top dollar to eat Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, I love let me see, all right. So, uh, how roller the sea said wifey got Mr. C roller cruising by force in 2021. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, Lonnie said my husband started traveling, period, because of me. Hey, uh, but we both watch your channel for tips. That's excellent. Let me mm -hmm. see, uh, uh, Samuel said, Did yeah. you start traveling because of me? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you got me into it. You pulled me into huh. it. I didn't even ever think about it like that. Yeah, you pulled me into it. Uh, Cause I ain't new to this. I'm so true Samuel to this. said I was the um I'm the one who introduced traveling to her hey, and also to okay, my chapter okay. two. Okay, All okay, right, okay. All right. I like so, how you said that. Chapter so two. definitely, uh, Young Chase said, uh, definitely me looking no for choice. our, uh, definitely me looking for our kind taking cruises. Said my partner, my partner never took a vacation okay. before me shaking my head. They say, uh, go shit. Okay. Hey, wow, never used door never, Really? Uh -huh. Good. Congratulations. Because that was, woo, that's where we were spending a lot of my hour money. Because I love to cook, but I feel like on like Fridays and Saturdays, I don't want to cook. So that was our outlet, especially during the pandemic. Right. 
All right, let me see. Let's go back up here. Let me know if you see anybody with the trips down there. Um, let me go back up the top here. So a whole lot of y'all knew about this. Um, the ghost kitchen. The ghost kitchen. <laughs> Somebody said, Tracy said, no, not Tracy. Um, Mr. R&B said, we're the Keith Lee of Cruises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Keith, our boy. They told us when we was on the Melody that Sea Cruise, they said that us and Terry Rich and Jess are the Wu Tang of Cruise. <laughs> hey, you're all the Wu Tang clan of Cruise. I said, all right. Uh, let's see. Listen, I ripped Cruises a new one because, because of how we started out with cruising and how we had a horrible experience. Our first time cruising. Yeah. I that's why we're so passionate about teaching people cruising. And y'all heard me say that like cruising isn't like my passion, like my number one thing that I go to. I love resorts, but because I experienced cruising on a downhill, mm. I wanted to teach people how to do it correctly so that we can get people out there right. and enjoy it because because we did it wrong. The first time it took us many uh, years to try it again. Oh yeah, if you get it wrong, you you, you yeah. gonna hate it. And <laughs> you then ain't after, do it no more. even after that, I had to learn <clears throat> to appreciate cruise ago. When I first got back into it, it's something that we just did with our family, and we just did it, you know, with group cruises and stuff. Because it's for me, I started to get like bored. And then once I started to put cruising in its own place, now I enjoy it. Right. But at first I was like, okay, it's day three. It's ready for me to go. <laughs> um, let me get back to my resorts. And I still love resorts. I just have not crazy enough. We I have not we been go on now. one last year. Well, this year. This year. Yeah, we ain't in 24 yet. Now, I mean, <laughs> technically. Yeah, we almost there. We we still got what 10 days. So we did <laughs> how many resorts in 22? 20, we said two or three? Two. It was two. Two. Two and then some more that we did with our parent with um our yeah. moms, um because resorts is my my jam I love them. So next year <clears throat> resorts is back on them. Me and oh you. yeah, <laughs> most deaf. All right, so Amir said all my dollars need to work for you. Amen to that. Yeah, Q uh, said we was the Wu Tang. That's who said yeah. it. Why <laughs> said, am I surprised? So Toilet said working for the government for over twenty hey, years. Toilet. Finally paid off my loan over fifty-seven k oh. with just forgiving. What? Wow! Jack cancellation? Oh, I I wish I could cue the shout music. I ain't got no shout music on here, but I had some. I cue it. What's up, Tim? All right, Timothy said cutting cable is my next move to save money. Yep. Likewise, here. And here's the thing: like cutting cable isn't hard, like harsh, like it was. When it first started, because we have so many, like if you an have apps. internet, you have an app to get whatever you want. Because most yeah. of us are not watching TV anymore. And because my mom, that's why we have cable. <laughs> yeah. Because she doesn't know how to like, like get on the internet and like really work the thing. Right. So it was, you know, it's just easier to have cable. But I'm like, <laughs> 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 something got to give. <laughs> Yeah, Toya, um, that was a blessing with that. With yes. that, yeah. Oh my God, I am so happy God for you. God is good, man. Yeah, I love hearing stuff like that. Listen. Yeah. Uh, so. NCO has good solo cabins. Okay, okay. okay. So I got uh, one coming up in May on the sunrise. sunrise. All right. We done been on sunrise what, three times. Say, so take it to another level, please. Look at Roth IRAs. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, KB Bundle said, I just changed my monthly savings to travel and increased it by $30. Come on now. Starbucks isn't adding value. Come on now. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Indeed. Hello. The and the coffee, to me, ain't that it good sucks. no more. It used to be like bomb or was it I just... Was... I think it's the thing that I went to Starbucks. Yeah. Because I make coffee way better. At one time, Wawa's coffee was way better than Starbucks. Wawa yeah. is a gas station here. But then they got weak as heck, too. Yeah. Because I like motor oil. Like, I don't want coffee. I want to be able to put a spoon in and that joke will stand up. <laughs> That's you. Uh, Tiff and Dre says, solo travelers on rural get an extra point per day on mm -hmm. Crown and, an and Anchor program. Extra two points is it's if it's a sweet. Tiff and Dre, let me ask y'all a question. Because mm -hmm. I need somebody to talk to about this here. Because nobody's watching it, and I'm kind of upset. <laughs> Anybody wa um, watching the World Cruise on Royal Caribbean? 
like on TikTok, like the royal, uh, like the world cruise, the nine month cruise that's going on right now. It is a freaking reality show that's not a reality show right now. Oh my lord. <laughs> It's my rabbit hole, baby. We gonna have eight more months of this foolishness <laughs> that's going on with these people that are on here, and the pinnacle people are acting up. All the pinnacle people are acting up on that cruise. <laughs> All right. So traveling with Gail said, my husband and I travel four to six times per year between cruises and land trips. Nick's cruise is MS uh, Melanin C 2.5. Okay. That's, oh, yeah. You that's gonna, virgin. Oh, yeah, you're going to have yourself a good time. Terry is trying to talk us into going. I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> no, because we have two trips in January. One that was not planned. Mm -hmm. um, one is because I made top 100. Yeah. Out of 22,000 travel agents in North America, us Rich and, and Jazz, jazz Addie and, and Terry, Terry. Top made 100. it to top 100. Yeah. So our celebratory <clears throat> cruise that they host us on and celebrate us is in January. So, yay. What's up with me? Said, I love watching your vlogs from the earlier days. That's what's up. Uh, the, I'm going to say Daddy Jim because I don't want to mess it up. On the plus side, the, the G wow. daddy Jim. <laughs> say on the plus side, while the rooms cost is double um on a per person basis, mm. you do get double points, points for sailing solo. Uh, that's a pretty major perk that helps you earn loyal status faster on Royal Caribbean. Yeah. Thank you, Ronnie. What's up, Ronnie? Uh, love the content. Keep you doing your thing. We will, will do, will do. Miss Portia said this question is a bit off topic, but I'm curious if you two have a favorite or preferred cruise line, Virgin. Virgin, yes. Virgin is my personality. Yeah, Virgin, Virgin, like was a life changer for us. Like, yeah. <laughs> But well, our first cruise, we kind of questioned it. Though. Yeah, the first two days, we were like, yeah, I don't know about this right here because we was expecting for them to be like Carnival. Yeah. But when we leaned into the Virgin experience, life changing. I'm saying you love Mr. Sancho's. Yes, yeah. indeed. Mr. Yes, it was Mr. Sancho. I, I see, I remember. I try to remember <laughs> where I meet people at. Or actually like have that genuine like connection, that interaction. I try to remember. What's up, uh, C. Casperian? I hope I said that correct. If not, forgive me. Uh, I love you guys. Such a beautiful couple Thank and great you. energy. Thank you so much. Uh, Miss Poison, I love Mr. Sanchos. Mr. Sanchos was turned down, though, on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah I was. think it was because it was just so many families there. They probably, and they controlled, like, how ratchet they let that music get. Yeah, because we went, Lord have mercy. Because we went in May, June. When did we go? I think it was May. May, baby. Oh, it was. <laughs> Y'all couldn't leave us. We couldn't it show was it. All the way up. We couldn't show <laughs> it. That's why that clip in our video was cut so short. So let's say I try to do two to three vacations. I started planning well in advance. You have yes, to. you have to, especially um, excuse me, in this day and time, because when you book a, a cruise close to the time of sailing, they sometimes double and triple the price. Listen. All right. What's up, Jen? Hey, Love Jen. your video. Super helpful. Uh, do you have any plans on going on the Jubilee? If no. they change the itinerary. We got to change that itinerary. They, they, Why? They, Why have they locked that beautiful ship onto one route? Yeah. And we've been on that route. And we've been on that route. Mm -hmm. And y'all know how I feel about your airport. <laughs> 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 so in order for me to, to, to go to that airport, the itinerary got to change. What's up, Adrian? Hey, y'all. Jermaine Dupree in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, man. Stop it. <laughs> hey, yo, it was so nice meeting you on, on the group trip, man. Adrian man, looks love. just like Jermaine Dupree. Man. And nobody saw it on the cruise until we were joking with him one day. And I said, what's up, Jermaine Dupree? He said, oh. <laughs> and then everybody was like, yo. <laughs> Yo. He was like, wait a minute. Hey, bro, love your vibe, I man. Love, it. love yes. your vibe, bro. Thank you for coming through tonight, too, man. No, when you fell out that chair and hit that floor of that club, oh, oh, everybody. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Especially Asian, he couldn't get himself together. He couldn't get himself together. 
What's up, Taylor? Off hey, topic. Taylor. Say, I've been binging y'all, binging your videos all week in preparation for my oh, role. You read that already? Already? Where you been? Let's see. It, we getting tired. Yeah, that that's old. That's, no, that's not old. Yes, it is. Uh -uh, we she, have... Yes, it is. She said she was hoping they work for royal too. Oh, okay, right. Okay. Yes. My bad. Antigua. Antigua. Uh, uh, that's what's up. Uh, let's see. We haven't been there. What's up, Ramona? What's up, family? Ramona, get him because he started. <laughs> he started a whole channel, and then he decided that hey, ain't nobody listening to me. And I said it ain't about people listening to you. It's about you doing it until uh -huh. the right people come. Hey, I already told you that it is co it's coming back, but we 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 doing this over here now. Then Jesus I'm, uh, coming back too. Lord but until mercy. he come, you gotta do something. That's what at least they say. Tavon said had to solidify. I financially, I I, I financially tried that TP is oh you got me it. right. Oh, you finally tried it. Oh. Tavon. <laughs> Don't be, hey, don't be listening to him. Hey, look, hey, look, the next level, I think I mentioned before, like, and I have not got any more sense. The teleport black. <laughs> yo. Don't do it. Don't yo. do it. Yo. Don't do it. Only got it once and I and I done reverted back to just a regular teleport. <laughs> you see how I'm breathing? <laughs> Was that? Yeah. Did we give your mom that? No. No, I gave no. her something else. No, nah, no, nah, she ain't mess with that one. I gave her something and she said, daughter in law, I can't stand you right now. <laughs> yeah, that 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 teleport black. Yeah, that's 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 like for the holidays and the birthdays. Yeah. Yeah, special occasion. Yeah, you you don't want to drink none of that during the week. Nah. <laughs> Even teleport is kind of on the edge during nah, the week. You don't do that through the week. But, but that black, yeah. That black is the one you gotta break the glass on. Yeah. Going on the Super Bowl cruise on the conquest. Oh, that's gonna be a good old time. Yeah. Uh let's see, wait. Say enjoy ever since reviews. Oh, wait, ever since uh our son got grown, the husband and I take four trips a year now. That's what's Hello. up. Hello, you that's earned what, it. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. You earned it. What's up, B Hicks? Uh, what's up, fam? I enjoyed the consistent reviews, uh, and the great attitude. Appreciated. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. We try. We try. What's up, Lonnie? What's up, fam? Hey, Lonnie. Going to the Super Bowl cruise. Yeah, that's right. Right okay. All right. That's we got to cut this short because I can't feel my butt anymore. Can't feel your butt no more? Uh, I mean, I can stand up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Let's see. Uh, Sabrina said, uh, going on... My first solo cruise, February 11th on the Carnival of Venetia. 12 days. Nervous. But so excited. Paid all year for this 12-day cruise. So ready to leave. Indeed. 12 days? Yeah, yeah. Wow. You're grown. <laughs> Say grief. Yeah. I read so, that. Oh, you read? Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you, fam. Say we preaching tonight. Listen. We, we, try, we, try, to, try, we try, try to inspire and give truth and, yeah. you know, give our journey. Because here's the thing about us like when we really were trying to get um our skit together we would actually ask people and they would just tell us like to simplify it, just save mm -hmm. but i work in banking and i know that that's not the way to do it like i mean it works for goals and things like that but we wanted to like boom like y'all are like 50 and retired how are y'all doing this right and nobody would really like talk to us so <clears throat> i'm I'm at a point in my life where if I know it, I'm going to tell you. Right. Like, I'm not going to gatekeep. Now, there are some things that I do feel that is better, more is um, more well-received if you do some research and try to dig into it yourself. Right. But, you know, I'll, I'll lay the foundation. Like, but I, that's, I, I think that's everything. Even if somebody teach you something, you still want to dig deeper into it. Yeah. You don't want to just take for face value everything that they say. You still want to do some legwork and fat check. And just make sure what they saying is correct. <laughs> KB Bundle said, wife got him here. <laughs> Tell your wife, thank you. Said uh, Samuel said, yes, me and my daughter have found a new normal. It's hard, but we have each other, right? Uh, plus, now I have a grandson, oh. my son's child, that oh. give me new joy. That's what's up. <laughs> that is the hardest up. part is raising the girl on my own. Mm. The girl's on my own. Yeah, yeah I can definitely see, I see that. His brother late um raises his um our nieces on his own. He has he has four, but he has custody of three. Yeah. 
and baby. <laughs> <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Ooh, say, uh, watching, uh, what's up, Monica, again, watching from San Diego, first cruise in February on the Elation. Can't wait. All right, let me split this up. Here we go. So KDM said, question, is it okay to pay a deposit and then save up for the remaining balance and don't pay anything? You can, but mm -hmm. I have, okay, so it's psychological that most people that pay a deposit and wait till final payment don't pay final payment mm -hmm. because you're no longer in the habit of doing something towards it. And usually when you're not in the habit of doing something towards it, you're not. Right. Like most people say, I'm just going to save it and accumulate it and pay it. If you're that disciplined, by yeah, all means, you can do, do that. But a lot of people aren't. So yeah. even when I do my group cruises, I tell people, I want you to pay every month. Mm -hmm. Because one, it gives me a gauge of who's really serious or not. Because while you're paying, I'm planning. Right. So I can't, I don't know what to really do if I can't gauge what the end number is going to potentially be. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because uh, if you if you plan on saving the money up for it, you can use that to make payments on a cruise mm -hmm. to lower your balance. So I would rather for you to make payments on the cruise and do a portion over in savings, like that vacation savings I talked Shit, about. Ashley. Yeah, but that just that just my recommendation. So that way you can be killing two birds with one stone. But absolutely, I agree with the with the queen. Yeah, it's, it's really psychological. Yeah. What's up, Teresa? So much of this uh, explains watching you two. Uh, you like, love each other more. Importantly, you are on the same page, especially financially. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Definitely. Definitely. Now, like I said, we aren't perfect and we both have our, our things. Like, let me tell you what we overspend on. I I'll tell you what mine is. <laughs> Amazon is my crack house. Mm-hmm. Amazon is my crack house. Forget luxury handbags. Forget red bottoms. And I do like I do like sneakers, um, but I do those in spurts. And then my other thing is fragrances. Fragrance head. <laughs> Can't wear but one at a time. But boom, we'll, we'll yeah. drop five hundred dollars in fragrances at a drop of a dime. <laughs> What's yours, baby? Go uh, ahead, hit them. Uh, gadgets and gadgets. <laughs> Tech. Yeah. Tech. But most of the stuff I do buy, we, we use it for our business or the channel. But, for like three months. Uh, But some stuff, I got a whole bunch of stuff back a there. Closet and, full. Uh, uh, stuff over there that I done bought. Cameras, lenses, uh, tripods, selfie sticks, uh, ND filters, you name it, just over there. Uh, matter of fact, me and Terry were talking about it, but we need to do uh, go on marketplace, <laughs> go on our uh, Facebook marketplace and sell some of that shit. You ain't never lying. We have uh, laptops because uh, now we're into the MacBooks now, so regular laptops just won't do. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Tavon says, still uh, waiting on the stock discussion. I just started my Roth IRA. I'm proud of you, Tavon. Hey, look, when we hey, when we get in person, bring that back up, and we can definitely have that have that conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm not sure if I'm ready to to talk about it, talk about that publicly. Yeah, yeah. You gotta see if your license will allow you. Oh, I, I can talk about it. You can talk about it because I don't work for I don't work for, for security. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So I don't work for a securities firm, so I can talk about it. See oh. how much bondage these companies put mm -hmm. you in when they when they provide your license? Uh, but I still wouldn't give advice. No, I would give mm -hmm. general. We would give give yeah. the facts. Yeah, but I third I, I, version I, voyages February. This all right, share is getting on my nerves. <laughs> and then Greek Island Glow Virgin Voyages, yes, indeed. Yep, indeed, you're gonna love it. Uh, the green sh walking shoes. <laughs> okay, Ernest, I answered that. Okay, uh, with my little thing about um MSC. Star said, "I'm so ready for Greece." <laughs> uh, Lynette saying Greece wasn't even on my agenda, but God gave me uh straight, got me got straight real, real quick. <laughs> Listen, I was like, I'm floored. Wait a minute, floored. Wait a minute, Star, you don't been to Dubai. You went in November and it was awesome. Such a vibe. Hey, did you rent a Lamborghini? Oh, God. <laughs> hey, Adina. 
What's up, fam? Happy New Year to you too. And Christmas. yes, indeed. Merry, Merry Christmas, Pinky. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, right. Let's see. Uh, so some more savings. Yeah, y'all throwing these savings accounts out here. Say so yes. Ali has a great four point five. Also, I have CIT Bank, which offers five point oh five. What? <laughs> Samuel said, because you got to smell different every day. Listen, I have a daytime fragrance. I have a nighttime fragrance when I go to bed. <laughs> like, it's not a game. It is really not a game. So easy to transfer to get back from my from my check account when needed. Awesome. Thank you so much for that, yeah. Ashley. I like that. Yeah, that is dope. Yeah. Ms. Blackberry said, will I ever do a travel agent mentorship? Yes, I'm starting in um, little January. Yeah. Um. And it may not start off as a mentorship. It might just start off as, a, as a class. Yeah, live training. And then as the trainings go on, then I could select my mentees. Yeah. Because, <clears throat> yeah, I, I need to make sure that we we on the same page and that, you know, the time that is invested is going to be well received. Yeah. What's up? What's up? Uh, Glor Gloricia? Gloricia. 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 Oh, Gloricia. we didn't say that wrong. Gloricia. Uh, forgive us if we said that wrong, fam. Two cruises planned in 2024, Alaska and Bermuda. Only live once. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Said make it happen. I do want to go to Bermuda because I'm like, one, is so achievable, but we just have never gone. And up until Melanin SC did it, <laughs> Bermuda, I didn't see nobody that made it look interesting. Right. So they made it look interesting. So I'm like, okay. Let's say uh Lonnie said uh my husband and I have uh, been married Woo! almost 25 years. You don't Congrats. look old enough. Right. <laughs> and this year is the first time we travel together. Wow. Y'all got us through the first cruise oh. and now we'll book two that's the second and the third. Love y'all. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen. Yes indeed. We see uh That's it, right? Uh Duke says we did a uh what i did was book a bunch of cruises and now i have no choice but to say it pay for it <laughs> yeah i will yeah. lose my deposit right <laughs> we literally did a video today that talked about that yeah like it's not out yet but we recorded it today and then we recorded the entire video and the camera decided to focus on him and make me look like i had like a filter on and I'm like, I'm not recording this video over. It's going up like this. So if y'all see this video and see that yeah, video. The, the 26 tips was like that too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so like, about... I'm not doing it over. Not. Because <laughs> today was a day that we're supposed to have had all of our ducks in a row. We had a, play, uh, uh, a recording schedule. He got up this morning to take the car to get an oil change because tomorrow is the day that we're supposed to travel, that we got to travel. Um, not for travel, travel, but travel for something else. Yeah. And so he went to get the oil changed and the tires rotated. They changed the oil when he left from out of the place. He said, my wheels are like grinding. Yeah. The wheels was grinding. He had to go Cause back. I had got a tire rotation too. So he had to go back and take it to the actual tire place because they didn't realize that on these luxury vehicles that the wheels in the back are bigger than the wheels, wheels in, in the front. front. So, so they took the wheels and they put, like the, they put the wheels for the front like and the this. back. So that's why. I, so the guy told me that I needed I needed to take it up there and get in alignment with the rotation. Actually, that's not true. And so when I took it to the guy and I was like, I told him what it said. He was looking at me. He was like, huh? An alignment? And that's when he told me he was like, the wheels are bigger on the back and the front. He said, that's why they were scraping. He was like, we just need to swap the back like this and the front like this. And you just need to get a uh, balance of tires and you straight. <laughs> I didn't find out it had a, had a, a screw in the front tire. So <laughs> like, a, a one hour trip <laughs> to get oil change and a tire rotation turned to a four hour trip. Took half my day. Yeah, you can't make this up. Yeah. Right, uh, Samuel. Life insurance is very important. Um, Leah made sure the girls uh, and I were taken care of. Yes, indeed. Love that. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's the that's the, the number one reason why we got life insurance because I want to make sure if something happens to me and that the queen don't have to find another sugar daddy to take care of her, <laughs> that daddy gonna take care of while he living and when he gone. <laughs> and vice versa. Right. 
but if you but if you replace me too soon, I'm coming back. <laughs> oh, I'm coming back. Ooh. Oh, I'm gonna mess with your feet at night. Um, I say when well, y'all do it, I'm gonna slap you on it. Right, young chase. Life be life. <laughs> life be life. I was like, when he called me, he said, I was on my way to Kroger and the wheels were scraping. And I, he said, I took it back and they said that. I said, that don't make any sense. <laughs> I said, just go ahead and take it up to the tire place because they always get us straight. Now, mind you, we that's what we get for not taking it to <laughs> the dealership. Right. Because we had an appointment with the dealership and forgot and it. forgot. Hey, y'all, uh, thank you so much, uh, Keandra, for that. Says Symphony uh, Bank got a rate of 4.75. So, yeah, so the fam is throwing all kinds of savings accounts out here tonight, and I'm writing them down, too. Mm -mm. We don't get off here. Like, we don't have us a good old talk about So, yeah, man, can't wait for the review. All right. Said, um, what's the sign up sheet? I need to add it to our website. I'm going to be honest with you. What sign up sheet? For the. Um, travel classes. Oh, travel agent classes. Yeah, we have them. Yeah, I've been keeping a list of my own, but I I need to add it to the website for real, for real. Yep. Let me see. How you say you need that? You need his address so that you can um send him some of that equipment. Some of the equipment. I, I, hey, I might very well do that too because I got some stuff in there that we don't even use no more. It's it's really sickening. Right. Especially find out you know if anything you need, I most likely got it over there. <laughs> I'm talking about a closet. Well, it's not a closet. It's a it's a drawer, but it all can fit in the closet. But it's in a it's in a it's in a drawer. That doesn't make it better. It's a closet. Mm, it's not a closet. <laughs> it's, a closet. <laughs> it's not a closet. It is. Woo. Well, all right, y'all. We done been on here for about two hours. Uh, so we hope that you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Cause most likely we won't be back on here until uh january because yeah. uh after christmas we are out of here in the cruising streets and uh yep. we might attempt to go live on one of the trips we, we always say that, say that <laughs> and but we always say that and get on there and forget because we start having so much fun that's not that we forget is <laughs> that once we're on vacation we're vacating like we're yeah, we, we're in the moment of who's with us and the enjoyment that we're having with yes. each other and the people that's around us and i don't break to bring you all in. Um, so, I mean, that's really what it is, is that we just don't break to bring y'all in. Like we're organically doing what we're doing. Right. And then, you know, when we are recording, we, in a, we are intentionally bringing you all in then. Right. But other than that, we just, we haven't gotten there. We haven't grown into that yet. All right. I see. Uh, so y'all saying Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Yes. And um, this is going to be so funny to say, but we're going to see y'all next year. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that is crazy. We appreciate y'all. Yeah. We for rocking with us all in 2020. We don't take it no, we don't. We take don't. It lightly. Yeah. Because we realize we wouldn't be who we are unless you guys showed up here every, every day, every week, every month, every year. Uh, some of you guys been been around here for two, three, yeah. four, one year. Uh, some of you go all the way back from the beginning, to, from the beginning and some of y'all followed us from our other channel. <laughs> yes, so we, uh, yeah, so we're so glad that y'all haven't got tired of us yet. <laughs> no, y'all ain't got tired of us yet. And we, we haven't got, we ain't gotten either. tired of y'all either. So, uh, love y'all so much. Uh, enjoy your Christmas and enjoy your New Year's. And we're gonna catch you on the flip side of 2024, straight from the VA. That dirty, dirty side. Chew up. Chew up.